hi guys this is another quick bumping video of the three locks you can see there um, first one's a keep safe Yale specialist and I'm using the two bump keys you can see there which were homemade and given to me by a great guy on the DBC locksmith forum called pick wizard so thank you so much for those mate they work an absolute treat and thank you for the three locks and plus a big thank you also for this great little gem um, it's a cam turner and I wish I'd had this when I first started lock picking um, a while ago because I was asked at work if I could open a door which had a euro cylinder lock on it and yep yeah, I could pick the lock no problem at all I was moving round and round could not figure out or understand why it was not opening so I got the DBC forum asked everybody on there and got fantastic comments that were all taken on board but the tip I used was from a great gent on there called Paul Locksmith who said if I was to place a tension wrenching normally you'd use that in the key way but place it in the other way through to the back of the lock find and engage the cam twist and it'll finalise the picking process which it worked absolute wonders so cheers for that mate absolutely brilliant so that is now a little gem in my toolkit so I do hope estates managers um, lose another key so I can give this a bash if they don't lose another key I might hide one <laughs> just to have a go but anyway let's have a go at bumping these you can see they're not working keys at all and with them not having spaces or anything like that on you've literally to draw the key out the key where it's had let's give that a go light tension on it and there you go I've got it in one you don't always get it in one, you can be going at it like a woodpecker um, literally brain on it, but that's generally if you've got seals or your spaces on um, but if you get your tension on the key perfect at the moment of striking the back of the key and edge, it's literally a split second um, you do get the barrel to turn like you just saw there so that was the specialist, so let's pop that to one side and this is the Yale probably won't have the same look with this one but hey you never know I find drawing this out quite a bit more um, get a bit more joy with it but you never know it's on camera so it probably won't happen so let's give that a go and it did literally one bash there and that again is without a space or, or a grommet, whatever you want to call them on. So let's take that off. Out of interest, we will put another spaces on. These just give you sort of the time and edge over the lock without having to reset the key each time. So let's give it a go. Slight tension again. I'm using my thumb literally on the top there, gently. There you go, one crack again. Let's give that one more go. As you see, I've not had to reset that, I've just literally turned it round and second crack on that one, but as you can see, it's bumped the lock. So let's move on to the keep safe. That one was the Yale there to one side this key did come kindly with this little spring from pick wizard um, but I found again one of these no, I mean it works absolutely fantastic with a spring but I found this spacer or grommet actually works a tad, a tad better so let's give this one a go and this one's like um, obviously on the tag for high pins the other one was standard 1A 
they kindly did that so I'm, I didn't get the two mixed up which is brilliant so let's have a go with this so a few taps with that and it's gone round as you can see hope you can again let's have a go slight tension I'm just using my thumb again at the top of the key one tap there and it's gone round fantastic bump keys these um, well done Pick Wizard for these for making them They're absolutely fantastic and thanks for sending them I love them to bits so while we're on this let's have a go at single pin picking this I've not had a chance to have a go with the other ones yet but this uh, keeps safe I've had a bit of a dabble with I've got to get the wrench sort of down there at that angle because I don't have any that actually fit these and by adjusting it down there it does go in quite well so I'll get the pick into the back of the key there. a bit awkward to hold these could do we get myself a little vice then I can actually see into the key where there you go that's just picked it quite quickly and the reason I want to normally you'd obviously that's unlocked now but if I move that all the way around to there it's locked in that position you'd normally get a tension wrench in if, if there were a cam or anything on it and like I say like um, Paul Locksmith said in and engage the cam at the back but just to show how this little beauty works um, it's fantastic instead of messing about with your tension wrench literally get your key place it in, push all the way and just turn, I love it, I really do, that's fantastic, like I say, cannot wait to give that a try at work, so a huge thank you to Pick Wizard for the bits and pieces that you sent me, fantastic, love them to bits, um, so if you do want any lock picking equipment guys, please visit www dbclocksmith.co.uk and while on the website purchasing please visit the forum because if you have any trouble with your picks once you've bought them get online and there's everybody there to help fantastic so thanks for watching happy picking and again please keep it legal